Alright guys, so I am going to react. I mean, I'm not going to react to this. I'm going to see what Everwitcher said on this video. Like, I'm going to say this, that... Um, if, I mean, Everwitcher didn't start the drama. Um, Sage did because he posted the video about how Everwitcher needs to stop. How Everwitcher, I mean, how Everwitcher needs to be stopped. Like, he's the one who started the drama, but anyway, we're gonna get into the video, and yes, I am recording on my phone. Because it's the only easy way that I can only review this. Alright guys, so here we go. I'm actually supposed to be live streaming Call of Duty Mobile right now, but you know, some little kid is for some reason wanting more attention and he's bringing me into things. I really don't understand. Why is it that any time people in the Pixgun 3D community want some extra attention to their channel, they bring me into things. Out of all people, there's so many better... If you want attention, just make a video about where... Oh, oh Esoteric Inc. went. It's that simple. Just make a video on Esoteric Inc. It's going to get you views, dude. Just do that. You don't have to bring me into things and start more drama that shouldn't even happen. Because, look, I watched your entire video... And honestly, I really don't care, but I know my viewers are going to want to hear my response, so that's why I'm making this video. And you can't say, oh, that's bullcrap, because you literally said in your video that you kept doing the same content because your, your viewers kept wanting it. So please shut up, stop saying any more bullcrap, listen to the video, so I can just go ahead and put you in your place, and let's just go ahead and hop right into this. So, after watching your entire bullcrap video, the entire, you, you extended it to far before, far longer than 10 minutes long, just so you can get extra ad revenue. We're going to hop into this. I came into conclusion, Sage, you are a hypocrite. So basically, your claim, your main claim you were making was that I am attention-seeking, and basically you said that I was attention-seeking because of these select videos right here. My H3H3 video, my Gabby Hanna video, and my Belle Delphine video. But there's one problem with that. You and I both know that when switching content on YouTube, everybody knows this, so many people know this. If you don't know this, you're living under a rock. When you switch content... It, it, it plummets. Your views plummet. Your revenue plummets. Your your watch time plummets. Everything just goes so far down. It's honestly not really worth doing it. And you're claiming that I was attention seeking before that, but I'm a Pixagon channel. Like you said, I'm a Pixagon channel. Pixagon COD Mobile. Why am I doing something else? That's because I was not enjoying what I was doing. So I was trying to figure out if I enjoyed what I was doing with that. And yes, I did enjoy that very, very much. But it's a little bit draining trying to do that thing daily. Videos like that. Like, basically... I was actually in that position, like, if I don't enjoy the stuff that I want to upload, like, Pixel Gun, like, Pixel Gun is literally a game that would want to force me to upload that crap daily. Because, as you know, the game isn't enjoying anymore, as what I did since 2014, before my channel got terminated, like, I tried to start over from the beginning of Pixel Gun, but it just could not go back to the way it was. Like, I I actually regretted coming back to that damn game. Like, I didn't grow. I didn't, I didn't try that much effort to grow because, as you know, I literally did not edit any videos nor make any of the thumbnails appealing as they can. But besides that, I actually use the thumbnails to make them appealing. But the video edits, I do not do edits for the videos. But for my new start, I actually did do some editing. But unfortunately, not the thumbnails. Because I got Like, I really don't want to make them so fake. I just gotta be honest here. I was trying to figure out if I enjoyed what I was doing with that. And yes, I did enjoy that very, very much. But it's a little bit draining trying to do that thing daily. Videos like that daily are kind of draining to do. So I stopped doing that. The issue though, is you're... Okay, you know what the funny part is? Is that Sage actually switched over to Pixel Gun after Fortnite wasn't doing well. And Pixel Gun actually gave him, him a lot of shit views. Like it gave him, it got him to 40k compared to... The 100s of Fortnite streaming. And yeah. Basically that is what Sage would do. 
And basically, you just prove yourself, Sage. I gotta be honest here. Because you switched to Pixel Gun 3D. Because you were getting so many views off of that game. So why would you even say that Everwatcher is an attention seeker? I'm just being honest here. By doing content that you and I both know is going to perform a lot poorly, really, really poorly on my channel. That's not attention seeking, Sage. That is simply just me trying to do something I enjoy, something you're not doing right now. Because honestly, if you want me to just sit here and do miserable content, update reviews, weapon reviews, and the rebranded weapon reviews, 2,000 gems for an upgrade, I can keep on doing that. But you're only doing that because it's easy content. Trust me, Sage. I know. I've been doing Pixel Gun 3D content for years. Weapon reviews, update reviews, and stupid things like that are so freaking easy to make, and they get you views, they get you revenue, and that's why you do them. I know that because I've been there. That's why anybody does them, because it's easy videos. Why do you think that's all Echo Soldier does? Why do you think that's all 90% of this community does? It Basically, you know what? Everwatcher is actually speaking truth about that, because when I try to do update reviews, um... Like the 15.0.0 update and the 15.1.0 update, I get a shit ton of views. Like, it's not even close to anybody into the thousands. Like, it's only at the hundreds. Like, when I'm posting other videos, I get, like, barely 20 views. But when I post um, pistol gun content, um, I actually get 400 views or less. Or even more. That's exactly what I'm going to say about uploading reviews. But anyway, um, I got to be honest, update doing update reviews may seem exciting, but it really isn't because there's other people who are doing update reviews at the same time who want the cunt, who want the intention. Like, honestly, there's, there's a lot of attention going on. But what I'm here is that if you want your channel to grow, then you really need to work your ass off. Like, doing update reviews first. Um, you, gotta, you gotta make sure that you do update reviews first, or else you're gonna plummet down. Attention when you are the exact same Thing. I'm just trying to enjoy what I'm doing. Why do you think I'm uploading streaming COD Mobile right now? You, on the other hand, you literally, after the shout-out system, out with the promotion system bullcrap, you literally said in a video that you wanted to quit simply because you're not getting enough views and revenue from Pixgum 3D, but you still came back to keep doing the same bullcrap content so you can get more revenue. I mean, bro, you are the, literally the biggest hypocrite in this community. I so, Everwatcher, um, I actually know that you want, that you asked for the promotion of Pixel Gun 3D, but it really didn't go out the way that you wanted because the promotions are only for subscri to subscribe, not to get any views. But, however, um, using, like, if you want to be promoted, like, I mean, if you want to grow, then you gotta really, you really don't want to use that promotion box ever again. Because that box is a curse. And you know, like, like, small U Pixel Gun 3D YouTubers may grow because of the promotion box and how the Pixel Gun, how Pixel Gun developers really need the attention that they need to keep their game alive. Like, Siege, I mean, Sage did the same thing also. Because, well, if you don't believe me, then how come he has 174k subs? Like, that's what I'm thinking. So you can get more revenue. I mean, bro, you are the, literally the biggest hypocrite in this community. I don't know anything else. I mean, there's lots of hypocrites, but you... You're definitely in the top three. You have to be in the top three. So you basically just randomly brought up my name so you can get more attention to your channel. I've been streaming this entire month month because I, I don't want to uh, don't want to record. I don't want to sit down and record. I don't want to do what I'm doing right now. But I know my viewers really want to hear me say this, so I'm gonna do it. 
and I've been streaming this entire month. I've been streaming Call of Duty Mobile mostly because I'm enjoying that. Yeah, I'm not getting a ton of revenue from it. I'm not getting a ton of donations from it, but I'm enjoying it, so it makes it worth it. I'm having fun with friends, so it makes it worth it. You, on the other hand, are sitting there miserable, just sitting there doing weapon reviews. I upgraded this to max level 2000 gem upgrade mythical. It's so OP, or it's garbage. You just keep doing the same thing because you are miserable and you want the revenue. Sage, trust me, if you want to have fun on YouTube and you want to get attention, just have fun. Eventually, it will pay off. Okay, you know what? I'm going to be honest here. Everwitcher has a point. Like, you're you're actually spending a, a shit ton of money on Pixel Gun. Like, Pixel Gun is such a pay-to-win game that you literally are forced to spend... A crap ton of money on that damn game <laughs> like that like what sage uploaded is he spent so many gems on on just on just one mythical upgrade which is 1200 and that is ridiculous because that is 70 dollars right there so he spent over 70 dollars so apparently he's actually losing more than gaining because if he does that daily, then he's losing more than gaining money. That is what I'm going to say here. And you're saying I'm attention-seeking, but I haven't been doing Pixel, a lot of Pixel recently. I've been doing Call of Duty Mobile. You said it yourself. So how? How am I? How can someone, anyone, not just me, how can anyone be trying to pull as many views as possible by switching content, which gives you less views? Answer that, please. You can't. You can't. Switching content gives you less views, so you can't be attention-seeking for more views by switching content, which gives you less views. That's common sense, which is something you obviously lack, because, I don't know, it's 2020, this generation's kind of whack, there's not many people out here who have a lot, like, logical thinking, because obviously you don't, I don't know if it's the American school system, because I went to public schools, dude, they're not that good, that's why I left them. I don't know if that's the issue with you, but bro... You gotta fix something in your mental, bro. So you claim that I get involved with stuff that has zero relevancy, relevancy to me? Hold on, wait, wait. Are you actually a high school dropout? <laughs> or did you actually graduate? Okay, um, actually in the description of this video, it says he's 18. So I'm pretty sure he actually left school, yeah. So, never mind. I think you're good. Um, I'm not sure. Whatever. And also, Sage has been complaining that you can't even pay taxes while you're 19 while Sage can pay or handle his taxes while he's 16. So, honestly, it gives me a barrier of how... Who am I gonna trust? You know? Like, how come... Like, he doesn't give an explanation on to why, how Sage handled his taxes. Like, it didn't come from his parents, but he never said it came from his public school. I mean, I'm not sure if he went to a pub school, public school or a private school, but I gotta be honest. Sage, um, uh, Sage never said anything on how he managed to handle his taxes. Like, how did he discover that? Seriously. Yeah. And then the description is like, we, it literally explains why it turned into a podcast. Viewers called it a podcast, so I did too. And then you got butthurt about it, but you didn't even start the Pixel Gun 3D podcast. I made a community post about this. Two people, one of them's name is Crimson, I think the other one is TXZ, or TXC. They did podcasts a year ago, before you even did it. Not to mention, dude... You didn't invent it. Your Echo Soldier series too, the one that you completely copied. Bro, you claim, I didn't even know who Echo Soldier was. Everybody knew who Echo Soldier was. Stop trying to play stupid. That's just, oh my gosh. It's just Bruh, that is exactly what I'm thinking. Like, I mean, that shithead. Like, oh my goodness. Like, seriously, how come people not know Echo Soldier? Like, <laughs> the developers even made a meh, a set based off of the man. Like, they gave the man his set like come on dude isn't it obvious you could have searched it down but if you don't know what the set is then you could have actually searched searched it sage seriously man
Oh, you claim, I didn't even know who Echo Soldier was. Everybody knew who Echo Soldier was. Stop trying to play stupid. That's just, oh my gosh. It's just, you're getting frustrating, bro. So stop telling me that I cannot talk about cat spam because I'm not a cat spammer. If that's the logic you're going based off, I can literally tell you right now, stop uploading Pixelgun 3D because you're not a Pixelgun YouTuber. You are a failed Fortnite and GTA 5 streamer. I've seen your past uploads, dude. You are a failed streamer. You are a failed Fortnite streamer. And not to mention, Fortnite was in its prime. That was like season 3 and 4 when you were streaming it. That was the prime of Fortnite. Anyone who uploaded it basically just skyrocketed and got famous. But you failed at that, so you switched to Pixelgun 3D because it got you more views. I'm just stating the facts here. You... That's exactly what I said before. And not to mention, um, why does Sage actually have to say that Everarcher is not a 3-cat spammer? Like, if he's involved in that shit, then there's no reason to call him out. Because if he knows that 3-cat spam doesn't take skill, then it's his own opinion. Like, you don't call anybody or... Like, I mean, you really don't get angry or pissed off at someone... Because of YouTubers or or the community saying that cell spam or 3-cat spam, where the hell that is, doesn't take skill. Anyway, um, I was, three, I was actually cell spamming or 3-cat spamming since um, 2017. It was when, um, it was when I got a recommendation for Pixel Gun showing a montage of the Helsing Ultimate. Like, basically, they showed a montage of it. And, you know, that montage actually encouraged me to try it out. It was 100% based on other people's content. The only thing you've done original, I would say, is... Well, I honestly can't even think of something because the tournament, I did that back in May. And trust me, I'm talking about May 2019. And trust me, there were people who did that before me as well. The podcast, that happened over a year ago. So neither of us did that first. And I mean, you didn't even invent podcast in the first place, but I'll get into that in a little bit. You quit streaming to copy my content in October throughout December of 2019. Back then, I did like my, my first ever top 10s. Nobody was actually uploading top 10s at the time. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that because no one's doing it. I did some. And bro, they popped off. And is it a coincidence that literally a month after mine started popping off, you quit streaming to upload top 10s and top 5s? And you uploaded them. You mass produced them. You literally had, I think I did the math, there was like 22 of them in one month. I had three of them in a week. And you had 22 of them in a month. That's almost daily top fives and top tens, and you didn't start doing them until after mine started popping off. So I don't want to hear, you copied my content. And I'm upset that you copied my content, because guess what? I didn't invent top, top, top fives and top tens either. So, I mean, I'm not going to cry about it like you did. This is literally just me shutting down your entire argument. I'm trying to put you in your place because, look, someone's got to do it. And for some reason, you're just too egotistical to realize that. When my viewers called you out on you copying my content, which, I mean, like I said, I didn't invent top fives, top tens. But when they called you out on doing the same videos I was doing, your excuse was, I don't watch his videos. But in your video that you just made, you literally called, you, called me your inspiration at the time. So, dude, stop lying. Stop being such a hypocrite. Oh, I don't even watch his content. But he was my inspiration. How can I inspire you when you don't even watch me? That makes no sense at all, dude. The problem with you is that you cry about literally everything. Exonova made a video on you once, and you completely copyright striked her channel. It, it made her, like, ineligible for monetization for three months straight. You screwed up because it gave all your personal information to her. That's just your fault, bro. I don't understand why you do that. I mean, everyone knows the copyright system's awful on YouTube. And, I mean, if you copyright strike people, it just shows that you're kind of really, really petty. But, uh, you know, just I'll let you do you. Someone makes a video that you made that you didn't even start the idea, and you cry about it to your viewers. You don't realize that you steal people's content because you have your head so far up your own butt that you think you invented everything, and you think the freaking world revolves around you. Go tell Joe Rogan that he cannot do podcasts anymore because you invented them and he's copying you. Please do that. Please do that. Based on your logic, that's exactly what you're saying. You seriously think the world revolves around you. You're egotistical. You're a sociopath. You're a crybaby. You stab your eye with a stick and use that for attention on YouTube. You use my name for views. You expose your own friend for views. Whatever his name was. I don't remember. It was the racist dude. I'm not entirely 
really sure exactly what his name was. You switched to Pixkin 3D because you failed at streaming Fortnite and GTA 5 while they were trending. You wanted to quit PG because you weren't making enough money and came back to make more money. You suck up to the devs in the community because you're too scared to be yourself and speak your own opinions because you're afraid people may not like you. Your entire video is basically false information or irrelevant information. You, cr you cried about cat spam the entire time, and then the rest of it was basically you just boasting saying that you're better than everyone else. You are a regular human being just like the rest of us. You are no better than anybody else. You are no worse than anybody else. Wake up to reality because, as I already said, the world does not revolve around you. I was supposed to be streaming right now, but for whatever reason, you got upset and tried to use me for views. So guess what? I'm going to do the same thing to you. Now, please go back to your cave and let me do my thing. I'll let you do my thing. I'll let you do your thing, not my thing. If you want to do my thing, go ahead. Go back to streaming, please. That'd be great. Uh, probably be very, very beneficial to the community as well. But, um... Dude, just let me do me. I'll let you do you. I'm not mentioning you at all, so I don't know why you're mentioning me at all. I really don't care at all. <laughs> so, with that being said, guys, goodbye. Really, Sage, nobody cares. Okay. Well, guys, apparently, mm, I gotta be honest with you. Mmm. <laughs> Well, this is, like, I'm not even going to say anything. For for the most part, um, I really am not going to, like, I really don't want this drama to be influenced, but I know for a fact that Everature isn't actually popular, but he got very popular. Or, like, I mean, what I'm saying is that Sage is using... Is is the I mean Everletcher's thoughts on three cat spamming takes no skill. Like he already knows that it might bring him the attention. Like I know for a fact that Sage is uploading on a daily basis or even weekly for only just Pixel Gun 3D, and Pixel Gun 3D isn't actually trending. You know, and basically no one talks about it and it's getting irrelevant as you can tell. And you know, you can actually see on their Facebook that they're actually losing lots and lots of likes every single day. You can definitely tell that it's dying. But anyway guys, that is it for today's video. And... This is it, so peace.